We all want better batteries. Phones that charge in minutes and last for days. Sounds like a dream, right? And now there's a battery breakthrough that promises to make that dream real. Silicon carbon anodes. They're the new big thing in battery tech. They charge faster, hold more energy, and sound like a giant leap forward. But here's what no one's telling you. Samsung, one of the most advanced tech companies in the world, is not using them. At least not yet. And that might not be a mistake. It might actually be one of the smartest decisions Samsung has made in years. Let's dive into the surprising reason why. Many companies are racing to switch to silicon carbon batteries. They want the speed, the power, the headlines. Silicon anodes can hold 10 times more lithium than traditional graphite ones. That means more energy, faster charging, and better performance. On paper, it's perfect. But here's the thing. Silicon has a major flaw. When it charges, it expands. Not just a little. A lot. We're talking up to three times its original size during every charge cycle. Imagine that happening every single day inside your phone. It's like inflating a balloon over and over until it pops. This constant swelling causes the battery to crack, wear out, and lose capacity fast. That's why silicon carbon batteries can lose a big chunk of their life in just two to three years. Now, think about this. Samsung just announced that its flagship phones, like the Galaxy S25 and Fold 7, will get seven years of software updates. Some enterprise models may even go for eight. So here's the big question. What's the point of having a phone that's updated for seven years if the battery is dying after three? That's not just bad for users, it's bad for Samsung's reputation. And it gets worse. There's also the issue of safety. The more energy you pack into a battery, the bigger the risk when something goes wrong. If a silicon carbon battery overheats or fails, it can be far more dangerous than today's lithium ion batteries. We're talking about potential fires, serious overheating, especially in tightly packed devices like smartphones and tablets. And let's not forget, Samsung's history with battery failures is very real. The Galaxy Note 7 disaster is still fresh in many minds. Millions of devices recalled, planes banned them. It was a global embarrassment. Samsung isn't eager to take that kind of risk again. So what are they doing instead? Samsung seems to be waiting, watching, testing. They know silicon carbon batteries have potential, but they also know the tech isn't fully ready. Most of the so-called fixes for swelling and safety, they're still in labs or small test runs, not proven in real-world smartphones. And Samsung? They don't just want something that works for a few months. They want something that can survive for years, across millions of devices. That's why they're sticking to what's reliable. Lithium ion. It's not flashy, but it's tested. It's safe. It works. It lasts. Does that mean Samsung is ignoring silicon carbon batteries forever? Definitely not. Behind the scenes, they're almost certainly experimenting, running lab tests, collecting data, and preparing for the future. And who knows? Maybe the Galaxy S26 or some future device will debut with a more advanced battery once the swelling and safety issues are truly solved. But until then, Samsung's move is clear. They're choosing long-term reliability over risky upgrades. They're choosing real user trust over chasing headlines. And in today's tech world, where everything changes fast and some companies rush just to be first, that kind of patience might actually be the boldest move of all. So while others race ahead, Samsung is standing firm, and maybe, just maybe, they're the only ones who truly understand what users need most.